Welcome everyone to Pixar. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the museum, how to get to the museum, what it's all about. I'm also going to show you every dino in-game currently. And we're going to go through every single one. You guys are going to see them all. It's going to be fun. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys could, make sure to subscribe, guys. I put a lot of work in these videos. And hopefully you guys uh, can do me a favor by subscribing and also liking the video. But now let's get into it. So we're going to go to Ingrams first. You go to Ingrams. Click on the magic skill right here, and then right here guys, as you can see, level 10 is a portal. You're going to want to learn that engram. It costs 10 more to craft a portal, and that's all you have to do to actually get to the museum. So, we're going to place our portal down now. There we go, we have our portal placed. You cannot bring dinos with you, but we can now access the museum. Now really quickly, I do want to mention that anytime you come in the museum, other people can also come in as well. They can come through uh, any portal, I believe. I was on the one of the test servers today, actually, and I placed on a portal. I walked in. There's an unconscious person there. I killed them and took all their stuff, and I was happy. And then they're not gonna be too happy when they when they actually log in. So I would not log out. But anyway, guys, this is the museum. It's basically a big zoo. And what happens is, anytime like you tame a dino, come across a dino, harvest a resource block or something like that, it gets added to your museum. And it's actually pretty cool. I'm actually glad that, that they actually did this. It'd be really cool if ARK did something like this in general because this was a great idea. So we're going to make our way down. And as we go down, you guys are going to see that they show every single block that is currently in the game. And it, it, when you hover over them, um, right there, it shows what it does. It shows where you find it at, what it's used for, how to harvest it, everything. Which is really nice. It's actually really helpful for new players. So like coal, for example, locating the lower layer of the underground, a stone pick or better is required to collect it. And then copper, which is extremely important, copper and quartz both are located in the upper and the middle layer, a copper pick is required to collect quartz and a stone for the copper. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go down, emerald, iron, these are all just the different resources in game, ruby, marble. I bet, I bet that's used for structures. Yellow amber, which is interesting. Sulfur, silver, that's a cool one. Sapphire, oh, you see, actually see that one? Located below the middle layer of the underground, a magic wand is required to collect it. So you have to use the wand to collect some of these resources. This one actually also requires a magic wand. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that name. Lava, mainly located in the lower layer of the underground, unable to be collected, be careful. <laughs> As you guys can see, as we're going down, it is showing like the different nodes actually in the ground too, which I really like that. That's really cool. It actually shows the blocks kind of blending in and stuff. You guys can kind of get an idea what they look like. Volcanic rock. Please wait. I guess no one filled that one in. Petroleum. Gold. Sharp crystal. Iron pick or better to collect. White jade. A magic wand. But now that's not the biggest part. We're going to start up here. Basically, it's like a big museum for dinos. It's it's insane. It's t it's absolutely insane. So we're gonna come up to all of them here, and like I said, I don't have every single one unlocked. It wouldn't let me unlock some of them in creative mode. No idea why, but I do know what most of them are. As you guys can see, these are all the aquatics. So actually, we're gonna go to fly. And this far left one is the puffer fish. No idea. I've I've unlocked it a few times. It just won't give me the the thing. I'm not sure why. Remember, this game is still in early access though. And I actually, right now, currently, as, as of this recording, this was actually recorded before the actual game was released. But anyway, we have a large manta. You can also build structures on the manta's large and flattened body. Mantas can carry a large number of structures effortlessly as they swim in the sea, which is awesome. You have the shark. My favorite one, actually, when I was with, uh, I was playing with Zuna and CK Slice, um, while Zuna was streaming, we came across this thing. This, this, oh, I can't actually go in there. This horse thing. Very interesting, by the way. Very, very interesting. Actually, what's it, what's it called? Why am I not getting its information? A hippocampus? I, I no idea. Attack three. Oh, you got a nasty little attack on you. Attack two. It's like a unicorn and a shark tail, whale tail. I have no idea. But then you obviously have, like, you have your dolphin. You have the piranha and you have your anglerfish. The anglerfish looks really scary, by the way. I really like how that turned out. Okay, so now we can go left, or we can go right. You know what? We will go right. We'll start over here. Okay, so over here, guys, you just have your ant. As you can see, it's just one that's just the ant right there. 
a Titan worker. You have your Sarko. And all these have animations, by the way. Every single one does. When you, when, once you unlock them, they actually show them moving and stuff. You have your Parasaur, which I actually have yet to actually see in game. Up here, you have a Coyote. Pretty interesting. Let's see. Attack four. Is he going to show me an attack? I guess not. <laughs> anyway, that's the Coyote. You have your Dodic. You have a Trike. And if you come over here, you have your Stego, who for some reason has the, his own little island to himself. Lucky him. I actually have yet to see a Stego in-game either. Oh, you know what? We skipped over one. We gotta go down here. So down here we have the zombies. These are from Dark and Light. Pretty interesting looking. Then we have the Plague Zombie. We have the skeleton, which looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get an animation off of him. And that's the skeleton right there. Anything up top? Doesn't look like it. I really love how they have their own little like themed areas too, which really makes it seem like a zoo. Okay, so we covered from aquatics over. So now we're gonna make our way down here. And down here, guys, you have your patchy, which is like actually like one of your first tames you're gonna get with a saddle. It's not a Terra. Uh, it's it's interesting how it works, but Terra is not gonna be like your first tame off the start. It's gonna be a patchy. You have a Fiomia, you have your pair, sir. Nothing too special. Um, where's it? At? Wasn't there another? Oh, down here. That's where it was. Okay, now we have some creatures that I don't really know anything about. Uh, three of four, three of them are actually from Dark and Light. But you have your spider, a gem spider. You have just a bat. You have this weird, a giant claw mole. Looks so weird. Let me get a better angle on this thing. Look at that thing. Isn't that weird looking? That's such a weird looking little little critter. Um, do you have, what animations do you have? Interesting. More and more adventurers have started taming giant claw moles because their claws are good at breaking apart magic crystals. Uh, interesting. So it's like a gather dino. I wonder if it's like the fairy almost. Then we have this thing. A mega rock. The mouth of a mega rock dino can destroy almost any mineral. People usually tame them for plundering underground mines. Their power in combat isn't to be scuffed at either. This thing's basically just an Anki, I guess. Interesting. And you have the fire spider. It, looks like, it kind of looks like it's like a suiciding thing. Whether it is tamed or not, be careful if it's flame. A, spi a spider full of fire energy is quite destructive. Or maybe it's catching things on fire, I'm not really sure. Okay, let's head back up. And I guess now we're going to come down to here. Which you have the dung beetle. Which, by the way, guys, in this game, dung beetles are aggressive and they are not something to mess with. Dinos in the servers right now are extremely strong and they're very hard They're very hard to kill on your own. You have the scorpion and then just a terror bird, obviously. We'll come up here, guys. You're going to have your Anki, which I think the Anki actually looks really nice. I love the colors on it. It looks really great. You have your Carno, which has some really big horns on them. And come down here. And you have, I think, an armadillo? Yes, an armadillo. And then we have this guy. What are you? Balrog? Flame Demon Info. This is, oh, you know what? This is actually one of the, the elites. I believe he's a boss. Ooh! Wow, wow, wow. That's, 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 that's a bit insane there. If we come up here... You're gonna have your fire. Ele Ooh, you're gonna have your fire elemental. You're gonna have another type of spider. And oh, it's just that's actually another fire spider. I'm not sure why it's over here. And you have this thing, a fell hunter. Though powerful, also have weaknesses. As long as you gasp their weaknesses, you can tame them. A tame fell hunter can spit hellfire in battle. It makes them apparently they're nearly invincible. That's a, that'll be interesting to see people taming those things. And yeah, the next idea of your elementals here. Summoned by way of fire elemental summoning stones are extremely powerful and will burn other creatures. So now we will go, we'll go right here first. Um, there's like a random like bamboo biome. As you guys can see, you have the panda. Pandas are only interested in eating bamboo. They cannot currently be tamed. That's actually, I think that's one of the first tame or creatures that cannot be tamed. That's not a boss. Tamed thorny boars are still very powerful and can easily collect magic wood. That's interesting to note. That's what they do. 
You have your Cyclops, which I guess is one of the strongest dinos in game currently, but we'll have to find that out as time goes on. Team as Cyclops is difficult but worth it. Their giant clubs make them a force to be reckoned with in combat. Their great strength allows them to lift most animals. They can pick them up. And then you have the Minotaur, which I ran into one of these things in game. I'm not sure if they're tameable. No idea. They're definitely not bosses though because they're all over the Deadlands and they are a pain in the butt when you come across one. And you have your Rock Golem. So we've, we've covered a lot so far, guys, but there's still more to go. So if we come over here, you have a Reaper, or Soul Reaper, which looks really, really cool. Doesn't that, oh, let me backspace it. Doesn't that look really nice? I think it looks really awesome looking. You have another zombie, a Plague Zombie. I'm not sure why it's showing duplicates in certain areas. Not really sure why that is. Maybe just kind of fill some islands until they add more dials to the game. Then you have the Ghost Dragon. People often use tamed Ghost Dragons in combat. Nothing can survive an onslaught of Ghost Dragons. So these are probably like the big guys in the sky. If you see one of these, you're probably going to want to turn the other way. Then obviously you have your Quetzal, which the, which the Quetzals look really nice. Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. The Quetzals look really nice. And then we have a bear, an ice bear. And we have a ice elemental, which looks really weird. They don't really look that effective, but I'm, I'm sure they're pretty effective. Okay, so now we're going to head over here. And over here we have the elemental wolf. No, I'm sorry, specter wolf. That's what it is, specter wolf. Different from ghosts. Different from ghosts, ghost wolves are survivors from a long lost arcane age. Adventurers who mount these will then will themselves become ghost riders. So I guess you kind of turn invisible. Kind of cool. Then we have the werewolf guys. The werewolf I haven't really seen anything about. Not much is known about these creatures except that they're impossible to tame. It is said that there is a kind of mysterious potion which can transform humans into werewolves for a short period of time. That's crazy. And look how crazy this thing looks. Would you guys want to mess with that thing? Look at that. That just, that just looks like trouble wanting what he's wanting some. You have the skeleton, which I already showed, and we have another zombie. I'm not sure why they're showing duplicates like that. Over here, we have your big eared rabbit, which is from Dark and Light. It's just like basically the same thing as a dodo. And we have a dire wolf. And then you have your dodos. You have your terras, which the terras look really cool. They look pretty interesting to me anyway. And you have your Brontos. Now over here, I thought originally this was the monkey boss from Ark, but it's not. He is a boss. His name is Behemoth. <laughs> That's what his name is. We're going to backspace on him. Because Behemoth looks pretty cool to me. But let's do, an anim let's do a few anim animations of him. Okay, Behemoth is now gone. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Uh, we have a... Icicle Dragon. I've never seen these actually. I didn't even realize that I actually got this one. You look really small. No animations for him. And I broke Behemoth. Behemoth is no longer with us. Um, hopefully you guys got a good look at him while he was there. Oh no, this is one of the few creatures that just, it wasn't there to spawn in in creative mode. I have no idea what its name is. Um, and after seeing this thing in the museum, I'm like, that is the boss fight for the monkey from Ark. So I'm not sure what Behemoth is really. He might be like a mini boss. But this is going to be one of the major boss fights for sure. So if we come over here, we come right here, we have the little goblin territory. You have your goblin king and you have just the normal one. They show two of them. I do believe these guys travel in packs. They cannot be tamed. And they have zero animations. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay. Turn back around though. Oops, I totally forgot to unlock the RG, but that's the Argentavis. You guys know what an RG looks like. There's been a lot of screenshots of one recently flying around for Pixar. You have your kangaroo, which likes, looks like some scary thing you'd see at Chuck E. Cheese or something. You have the T-Rex, obviously. And if we come over here, guys, this is where you have your elemental spirit, which these things are not anything to be messed with. They are, they are strong. Huh. You have a fairy dragon the pegasus which a lot of people are really into in this game for some reason the horn of the pegasus gives off a bright light which makes it a favorite of adventurers it's also very fast now this back here guys i don't know what this is this is another boss for sure um he just it wasn't able to be unlocked through creative mode i don't know what the name of it is maybe you guys can figure something out let me know down below in the comment section what this bad boy is but it's it's either gonna be a boss 
Or is this going to be a, another dragon that you can actually ride or tame in game at some point? Because it might it might just not come out until the actual release of the game. All right, let's go down here. We have another ghost dragon, whatever they're called. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, the guy, ghost dragons. Not sure why that's in here. We have another specter wolf, but we have a just a specter. Ghosts like this one cannot be tamed. It's just something to kill out in the open. Interesting looking. Not sure why it's so windy. And if we come over here, you have your raptor. I mean, backspace. Sorry about that. You have your raptor. You have a diplo. You have your ov raptor. You have the dragonfly, which has the weirdest looking face ever. You have your turtle. Now down here we have some dinos from Dark and Light. You have a mushroom. I think it's called Light. Or it's actually just called mushroom. I thought it's called Light Mushroom. It's called Mushroom. And you have your fungus beast, which I really like. The fungus beast looks really good. I really like that. It looks really nice looking. And a tamed fungus beast is a very powerful ally in combat. Its toxic skin is effective against most animals. So that is the fungus beast. Looks really nice. It glows. I think that's probably why I like it. Up here you have a gargoyle. Looks kind of interesting. You have the Griffin from Dark and Light. This is not the Griffin from Ark. They are they are different. And you have a Minotaur. Oh, and we have Groot. As you guys can see, we have Groot, and we have the bigger Groot. This Groot turns into a tree. You can turn him into a tree and disguise him. Now down here we have which was my favorite tame from Dark and Light, which was the Saber. Looks really nice. And then over here we have another type of spider. Actually, I think it's just another gem spider. It is another gem spider. It is okay. And now, guys, we're actually on to our final exhibit, which and this is the final one. You guys have seen every dino currently in Pixark. So if we come over here, we have the werewolf again, and with that, but this is then we have a, just what, a, another type of fire ele elemental. Oh, this actually is the fire ele elemental. Okay, looks pretty cool. Fire. Fire elementals summoned by way of fire stones are extremely powerful and will burn other creatures. Then you just have a werewolf again and another elemental spirit. Again, I don't know why they're, they're having duplicates around. It's kind of weird that they're doing that. But everyone, this is the museum. Definitely make sure to check it out in game. It's really cool looking. It looks like you can actually go here to PvP with people too, which is kind of weird. I don't know if that's intended to happen, but it's happening on like the test servers right now. But this is also currently every dino currently in game. And I'm saying that because I feel like if there was a dino that was in the game and not in the museum, it really wouldn't make much sense, especially since, especially since there's boss dinos in the museum. So hopefully you guys found this little preview interesting and helpful if you did. Again, please subscribe, guys. It really helps me out a lot, especially with how, with how much work I put into this. And also stick tuned. There's going to be a lot of Pixar videos coming up in the next few days here. So thank you for watching. I will see all of you in the next video.